things going how's everybody's Wednesday because it is Wednesday it is that time of the week it's time to look on the downward slope for the end so how's everybody doing I'm doing a little bit of work here on the stream I kind of cut it close today. I forgot that I have a 3 o'clock appointment, so I can't stream my normal time 12.30 to 2.30, so we started half an hour early, and there was something I wanted to do prior to stream that I was going to do during the half hour before, and I forgot to do it. So, because I was trying to get a little extra work done. All the things we do for Moolah. All the things we do for Moolah. Or at least to feel productive. Uh, so, I am making quick change to a scene because this is a new event that we're doing and we're really focusing on extra life for this event so I want to make sure that I have the right overlay so bear with me for just a moment I have all the stuff downloaded I just have to grab the right one just give me a second on the thing yeah the when you do the extra life stuff they give you a bunch of materials to use just kind of like I, if you if you did the if you did St. Jude, there was a bunch of people who were doing the St. Jude one also. So I'm just taking a quick look at the different ones they have in here just because I want to see what all is included. I think they actually have some new ones that I want to get. So I'm just trying to decide which of these would be best. I think, honestly... Probably actually help if I could see them <laughs> in the thing. So I think I'm going to go with this one because it's similar to what we already have. And I can make a few changes to it to, to help bring... everything fit in there so just bear with me while I do this how's everybody doing I'm, I'm doing better today than I was yesterday I got up today I got started I didn't have anything interrupting my day like I did yesterday so that was all that's always good I've been able to meet a few of the, th of the things that I want to take care of so that's always nice when you're able to <laughs> knock out that stuff so. ah see here's I found it I found I found the flaw with this 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 overlay so I need to change this overlay so give me a second see so the it's it's expecting you to not have a green screen that's the downside to it so it doesn't so it's transparent all the way through the camera so I'm going to find a different one. Let's see. They know there's this will work. Yes, that'll work. So this month I'm like doing making changes live, but I want to get it right. I want to get it right before I get started on this. So that's 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 the only thing that's going on here is I just want to get it right. 
once I've got everything, once I've got this, the game lined up, let me switch over to it. And again, I apologize that I didn't get this done before I started. Just had so much going on. <coughs> Sorry. Slight dryness in my throat. This has to come down here. Okay. Cool. Okay. It's, everything's got to move. Everything's got to move. I'm trying to. I was trying to do this as uh, quickly as I could, but there's just all these little little assets that have to move. That should be okay for now. The extra light thing is up there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be floating a little in the in the thing there, but there's nothing I can do about that. I have to adjust the camera. Maybe if I move myself down like that. Okay, that should keep me centered in it at least. Yeah, cool. So here you go. Now you get to see what I've been working on. Yay! But for those of you who've been walking, watching your sure live streams, this is not new. So this is one of their older ones. I'm going to use this one for today, and I'm going to find a better one for later. So as you can tell by the game, right there, and you can see me. Uh -huh, I need to adjust that. That's that's not okay. Now you'll see what I mean about the camera. The camera is just too the camera is just too wide for this. This box is what it is. So. I'm just going to have to be careful about not reaching out into the into the thing. So, okay. So, what are we doing? Well, this thing is called, what we're doing is we're just we're doing another version of the extra not the extra life the hot potato. So, if you have been following the channel, you you know that Chellis Mike and I did a hot potato a two player hot potato challenge where we pass the file back and forth and we kind of just play it as we wanted um, followed the, the 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 play that was put out by the the hot potato uh, season two that was going on which is still on there they just wrapped their season well just brought it home uh, just like she did in season one and they are getting ready to do season three and so this is specific to our extra life team we are calling it Hot Potato Season 2, but it's Pixel Sharks Extra Life Hot Potato Season 2. That's that's how we're differentiating. It is, it's, this is our Extra Life team, so you're going to see a bunch of talk about Extra Life in this, the, the charity throughout the throughout the event. There are seven of us playing. I'm, I was supposed to be player one, but I had some things happen on Monday, so Chelis Mike tapped in. Episode 2 was Silver Zodiac. Normally he streams, but he's currently at a language school, and he has hotel internet, so he can upload... Uh, over time slowly but cannot stream so he recorded he played yesterday and I think he uploaded the file and I'm going to s I'm going to add that to my to the there'll be a collection and I'll run it as a rerun so um, th at least three of the players I know of will be recording and then posting the streams but the other two have much faster internet so they'll be able to uh, upload that day and I'll be able to get it up so you guys can see it so, but I know that that Chelis Mike, myself, and Zoe will all be streaming, and I kill Omega, who's on Friday, should also. So, so I got the file. I don't actually know anything except that apparently there is a load order. So I'm not sure what the difference is. It looks like they have something extra that I don't have. Let's check real quick. So core, hugs live, stop one, two, three. So the first line looks the same. Second line looks the same. Third line. There's where the mess up is. So third line, spike traps, better workbench management. Oh, I guess I didn't remove better workbench management. So that's probably where the Yep, so load mod list from save. 
that's the nice thing today. Okay, so I got to see Chalice Mike start. Uh, there were some hairy moments with some uh, rhinos, <laughs> and uh, I know he had to, and some bugs. I know that there he had some interesting experiences going on there. I don't know. Actually, I don't really know anything. I don't. I know that Silver Zodiac apparently made a legendary item and that it got away because somebody stole it. I guess is the story that he's running with. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I know. Uh, but okay, so we've reloaded the mods, and now let's load the save. So I have to play for two hours. The stream for two hours. Um, I started uh, the game, you know, the play a little bit late. So we'll see. Uh, I'm, I should be able to go to two fifteen, but I have to be off by two. I have to be off by two fifteen, two twenty. Okay, so let's get let's take a look around. This is not a no pause challenge, but so this is where we landed. Uh, we have we do have some. Where did I hide it? Where did I hide it? There it is. We do have some. And let's see, slash pixel shark HP S two rules that that will take you to a page which will give you all which will show you the rules and then if you would like to see so the mods that we're using you can go to that that's a that's a steam list that you can subscribe to so if you want uh, the the rules actually has our start location and seed and everything so you can play along if you want we haven't made the, the our characters available so you'll have to make your own characters. We use the rule. The, the rules are all explained in there. So these seven are our original seven: Golgoth, Guthron, Magnus, Wolfie, Silver, Jane, and I Kill Omega. They're all modeled as, and somewhat after the, the the streamers. So this is mine right here. And Silver Zodiac, uh, mis he I think he misinterpreted what we said when we said you have to accept everybody who comes to the colony. That we t what the the rule is if they if there is a relationship with one of the original seven, and it's this edge of map event, then we have to accept them. If they do not have a relationship with the original seven, O seven as we're calling them, then it's the streamer's choice. So he chose to keep them. So we have some more streamers here: Dark, Saria, Impa. We are using the Legend of Zelda as our naming convention for all new. Um, pawns unless we have some active viewers who want to be who want to join the colony and so on and so forth so as we go i'll explain more of the, the rules of the scenario we are not just we, we have some limitations and that we cannot just run for the ship we've decided that we want to make some other goals important in the in the run so we have some things that we have to accomplish and they are listed in that that document which actually i should have open because why not right we need to have it open so you can see the you can see the goals there oh why do i still have that i don't need to be seeing my, i don't even need to be seeing my stream on the thing i'm watching the game so if you look at the at the rules there there's a section that says progression and win conditions we wanted we, we're still we, we've pretty much fixed out what the finals are going to be, but there are a couple of milestones in there that we have to hit, and they are listed in that document, which I was going to just... I, I still have to... I, I have family visiting, so a lot of the things that I would normally have done before I started just haven't been getting done, so bear with me. I I struggle to keep up with things. It's just it's a daily thing for me, so, so here we go. So I will just post these in chat so you can see these are the events that we have to that we have to complete so research research transport pod technology neutralize ancient danger reach and maintain an ally with four non non permal war factions destroy five pirate bases attain 1.5 million in overall wealth and maintain that level through ship launch fulfill 20 number of caravan requests trade requests specifically craft five legendary items which apparently we've already done one so good job Zodiac survived 20 enemy raids and I think he had I think we've had two raids so far um, I'm not sure if that one's going to be survived so many raids before we can even go to this ship or what because once you get to the ship it's just not fair Then trying to keep like only 20 no we're gonna have more than that 
have 18 colonists, minimum one to take off once at the ship. Bonus score if all additional colonists, inclu colonists including animals at half rate. Uh, I think I need to reread that one. I think not all of them posted. Yeah, here, let me repost those because they didn't all post. So it's have 18 colonists. Bonus, the bo journey of ship event comes with the space for 18 colonist animals, but more may be built. So we could add more. And if the 07 are there, they have to be in the ship. Go through at least one year, 60 day period without losing a colonist. That's a challenge and a half. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't have to it can be completed at any point in the game. It doesn't have to be the first year of the game or the year leading up to the colonist escape. And tame and breed and mating pair mega sloth and raise them to adulthood. Bonus, tame a thrombo. So those, those are some of the challenges that we've added so that we can't just run to the ship and get off and win. Get off and win. So I know that when Chellis Mike started, he was a little bit peeved by the fact that he had some interlopers in his in his base complex up here. So he started initially, I think down here, and then he moved up here. So the base is a little more established now. Looks like we've got some bedrooms. Double beds in most, except for a couple right here. There's one over here, another one right there. Well, we've got bedrooms all over the place. We have some prisons. One of these could actually be for guests instead of a prison. And someone started putting floors in over here. Okay, we got a research desk. We got storage going up in here, so that's that's a good place to put that. It's farther back. Here's our cooler. Looks like there's a power outage right there. Ceiling light. Yeah, we are. It looks like we are currently low on power. So. We do have some other limitations in the game, which are explained in the document. One of them is we do have the minify everything mod, but we have some strong limitations on what can and can't be moved, and they're explained in that, that document that I shared earlier. Oh, and of course, can't go too far without saying this. This is an extra life event. I'm raising money for Providence of Alaska, which you can find out more. That link right uh, about, find out more about how you can help me meet my goal at that link tiny.cc slash extra life 2019 there's a snapshot of what how the money helped last year it helped you know with a giraffe former helped um, parenting classes car seats for those who couldn't afford them and helped maintain a child life team which takes care of the kids and i think specifically that team is more about their their quality of life so and i'll, I'll be talking more about that as so let's uh, let's go let's get started and figure out what's going on here I'm not one to come in and just willy-nilly change things that other people are doing. Uh, one thing I will do real quick is, no, not that, not the roofs, there. I want to see the zones. Chalice Mike doesn't like seeing the zones. And it creates a problem when other people take over if they don't realize the zone is there. So, well, someone's talking to me in my... Well, she's talking about some, some of them have been playing practice runs so actually I don't need to be in there because some of them have been playing practice runs and have had some uh, interesting results we'll just say interesting interesting results to what's been happening okay so what's everybody doing what kind of schedule do we have here so let's take these guys off of this. They can sleep whenever they want. Unless we have a night owl. Let's check. I don't know these characters right here. Daruk. What do we know about him? He's an undergrounder and a nibbler. Miner and a melee. Yeah, this is nice. Nice. This is a good one right here. I'm glad we got him. We had some limitations in our in when we created our characters and that we wanted to ha all have backgrounds that were specific to the tribal start. And we do have a scenario that we made that's listed on the pixel shark. It's listed on Steam. So incapable of firefighting and plant work is sorry, which is funny considering it's Sarah from Legend of Zelda, the tree. She's a misandrous and she's kind. Got another animal person, so that's going to be nice. Take some of the load off of Wolfie and Jane. 
And then Impa, medical assistant, conceptual artist. Okay. Caring, social, she's in, oh, look at all this. Nah. She's our artist. Undergrounder, tough, misandrous. She's our artist. But at least she can fight, I guess. But I mean, yay. That's going to be fun to deal with. We, I think we already have, we have two. Yeah, so I kill Omega and Magnus are both incapable of, incapable of violence. Who's our best shooter? 12.59. Cutthroat's our best builder, I think. 11.01 .01 with a double burn, so he'll learn that pretty quickly. 11.13 with a single burn, incapable. 2.55. He's the melee guy. Melee, mostly. Okay, right, cool. So now I know them. Okay, so he's got smoothing here to build construction skill. Always a good one. I don't mind that at all. I'll smooth some of this stuff out too, just because it builds construction skill. So I can put somebody lower on it. Okay, so we have some beds here that are all set for prisoners. I'm going to make them for guests. So we have a place for guests. We do have the hospitality mod going. Um, some of the mods are, you know, we, we had some, we had to do some talking, discussing what we wanted when it came to the mods. And, you know, it's always when you're getting people together, you have some disagreements over it. Uh, most people, most of the people didn't, didn't care one way or the other. Some of them didn't want it, wanted less, some of them wanted more. The hospitality is one of those ones that uh, it's 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 nice because it can benefit you, but if you ignore it, it kind of really doesn't matter. Um, just so. So we have a spare bedroom here. Who doesn't have a bed? Why does everybody? Hi, Zoe. Saria needs clothes. Okay, that's fine. Low on medicine. We're gonna need some medicine. There's clearly a bed here for somebody. Who's missing a bed? It doesn't look like anybody's missing a bed. I don't know. I guess we're just planning. Maybe. So I suppose I could make this a guest one also. So zone-wise, let's see what we have zone-wise. Expand area. So we have carnies, safe. So we got animals. Cool. Oh, I know what the no insects one. The no insects one was him, his attempting to make sure that our people stayed away from where the bugs might spawn. Because they were when we when he got here, there were bugs spawned already. So that's that's that in that zone right there. That's what that's for. So we don't really have a guest area. So let's create an area for guests. Okay, and now I'll go manage it. So we will let the guests come in here and in here if you let them have access to your crafting area they will help you and not just they won't instead of just hanging around so you could end up with them potentially helping you with things i don't know if they do they'll do research but we'll give them access to the bench so wherever you're going to have your people hanging out you should definitely let them have access to it hey anthropophagic i saw you over there How's it going? Give you a shout out. Another RimWorld streamer with a glorious beard. As a as a as another bearded person, I always appreciate a good beard. Uh, so far, it's treating it what treating it well. It seems like uh, Chalice Mike, who started it, had the the most interesting experience so far. In that he he had to fight off the bugs, and he had to fight off the the rhinos that he ticked off and then to silver zodiac in, in episode two which I have, to, I have to download and then upload to my channel so you guys can watch since that seems to be where they're storing them so the guests can go there and they can hang out out here so in episode two silver zodiac apparently had several raids but it's i think it's because one he had he accepted three different um, pawns and he built a legendary item apparently so if I guess go 
fall through here so they can help with the with the farming also just in case looks like he's got them farm going all the way down here so we'll just give him access to that whole thing there so and if I need to I can force shrink it down and force them to be out in that front area so if we get invaded so but yeah this is episode three so we're still very new uh, I'm not sure if you were paying if you were here when I shared it earlier so I'll share it one more time if you'd like to see our PSHPS2 rules that that'll take you to the rules for what, what we're running this on and including the seed and location info if you want to if you want to do your own play along we we did that's how actually what we did for our season one was we followed the pixel not the pixel arts the main the hot potato season two we followed their guidelines we used their mods f uh, we didn't start in their spot we made our own characters but yeah so we have a lot of animals how do we already have so many animals this one's goobers bonded that to magnus the Borg is bonded to Magnus. I don't mind the pigs, but all these other things. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Do we have a manager desk yet? Do we have a manager desk yet? Have we built one? We do have the colony management thing installed. So, production. don't see one of these around so we'll put it right here it's interesting how he how they designed this base around the bedrooms and then but then they just got these random ones up here definitely need to work on getting some lights in here too and we should probably build another another you'll never <laughs> Let's put, let's see, the problem with having the batteries right here is that they really, really decrease a room's appeal. So eventually we're going to need to move those. Mm. We have this extra room right here. For now, I'm going to put it right there. So we have an extra battery. And I probably want to build another one of these too. Where's the power? Give me the power. Oh man, look at this. People don't realize that you have the invisible power conduit, so that they build all these power conduits where they're visible now, and now they affect the room. It's right there, people. See? Right there. Use it. So that one's going to be blocked if I put it there. I suppose I could put it over here. Not much, I mean, there's not much else happening right there. So, we'll put that there. Hey, Riot Maker. Another RimWorld streamer. How are you doing today? Uh, have you uh, have you played since I saw you, since I saw you last? A couple days ago? I know you were hanging out in Warren's stream. There is a... Let's put the let's put the power conduit going this way for now. There. Okay, having a really hard time hearing you and have my system turned way up. Hmm. Well, I'm hitting the yellow, so maybe it's just I was maybe it's because I was stopped for a second. But I'm definitely I can crank it up just a little bit. I do know that I had to change a setting yesterday because the audio was clipping. Let me see if that change stuck. So, I'll go back to that. I'm really, really considering going back to OBS Studio just because I think, uh, after I move, because I just think OBS so, I mean, slobs is just really making, you know, giving me some issues. Let's turn that up. We'll see. So, let me know if that's any better. Hey, 
I appreciate your time. So we're just playing a little hot potato here. This is this is a colony we're sharing between our extra life team. You can find out more about that. Why the thing there? Okay, cool. Yeah, just let me know if yeah. yesterday the problem was when I would start talking, it would clip the front of what I was saying off. So I turned off the noise gate. So now I turned the gain up just a little. So, but thank you for thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. So, but yes, this is an extra life, as you can see by the overlay around around me. This is an extra life stream. We are doing this as long as we can keep the colony going until we can until we can make it to the end with some rules that we have in place. We can't just run and, and, and launch the ship. Okay, so Golgoth is building there. Who's assigned to research? Let's let's look at the Oh hey somebody they built this. So build a copy, put that right there. Minor break risk, Guthron. What is your issue, Guthron? Unsightly environment, recreation, fill, disturb, sleep, awful bedroom. Well, I'm working on all those things. You're just gonna have to wait. If you wouldn't have gone and gotten yourself injured, Guthron, we wouldn't be having this issue. <laughs> no, no, we are gonna travel to the ship. We just have we just have some other requirements that we have to complete before we're allowed to do that. So it's not just because the issue that, we, that when we did the, our first hot potato, where we followed the hot potato season two's rules and mods and stuff, my counterpart was so focused on getting to the ship and winning that I think we, it was too easy. I think it was way too easy. I don't think the raids that we faced at the end were difficult enough because our colony wealth was so low because we just moved and we had so many animals. It was just, I spent most of my time managing animals. I would build us up a nice little base. I would just get our defenses set up and then he would rip it up and move us. So, so I decided this time to put some reins on his desire to just get to the ship and launch and win. So we have some requirements. If you look in there, some, some goals that we have to meet before we can launch the ship. And I thought that one goal, one, the one goal that would be really nice is the whole, the, the, at the very least would make sure it put a limitation on it was we have to research transport pods. And I frankly am not going to keep a massive menagerie of animals. I will get rid of them. If they are becoming too much of an issue for me, I, I will I will slaughter the lot of them or sell them or something like that. Jane, what are you doing? Harvesting heel root. Well, we got heel root just sitting outside. Daruk, can you haul this crap? Get this corn inside. I like that we've already got food. I didn't have to worry about that much. I think the setup here, I think they did a good job with the setup initially, especially since this was where the bugs were. Chalice Mike did a good job, I think, luring them out and killing them. And then almost, you know, getting the colony killed over here with the rhinos. Apparently the rhinos are still here. I don't know why he decided to pick a fight with the rhino. I was working, and so I was kind of only half paying attention to what, he's, what he was doing. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, they are such a pain. I agree. They, they, I don't like managing them, and we had a massive menagerie. Massive. It was bonkers. And also, I really need to set these two. And I have, using uh, Stream Puppy, I actually can set these to a button. I'll, I'll do that for the next one. Okay. PS, HPS2 mods. That'll take you to the list of mods that we're using on the steam list. Uh, we have some limitations on like at least one mob, mod minify everything has some rules on what we can and can't do with it. So, and that document has the start information, right? Make your, if you're interested in our start requirements and where we are. Darwick, are you sewing? Okay, that's good. It looks like everybody's pretty well assigned. If I don't have to, man to, to change these things, I'm not going to. I like that. I, I kind of like the way Chalice Mike organizes them. I may change things temporarily, but I'll, but I, I kind of like the way he does them, so I, I like to put them back. Um, we'll put him on that, although he's not likely to do that before he does these others. Maybe if I put it at two. Same with 
No, let's put that. He should definitely be considering doing that at the very least. Okay, two, three. That way we have some management options. I know that the man colony manager will allow us to make some controls on the animals. So what we currently have, three tamed. So I so say you can set how many you want max. You can restrict animals that are marked for slaughter to a specific area. I like that so that they're not all over the... So. Obedience. Train young animals. New lovers? What is happening? Jane flirted with Magnus by joking about heel root. Magnus was attracted and is now Jane's lover. Jane and Magnus want to sleep together. Consider assigning them a double bed. That's funny because Jane and Magnus are married in real life. Jump to location. So, Jane and Magnus. Look at that. Magnus is doing his work and he's flirting. And they have a double bed already. That's one less bed that I have to worry about. So this one I'm going to assign to Sarai, so she's in a double bed. So everybody should have a double bed now. There we go. I do need to get some lights in here. So we have... So it looks like the bedrooms, it's all dark in the bedrooms. And I'm not really sure why. Boy, we talk about building right up against the edge of the map here, they did. <laughs> I think they probably just didn't think about it. Maybe? Possibly? Oh, cool, so we've got this this built. Nice. What are we growing here? Some maple. That'd be nice for the floors. I think that's what they've got built right here. Or it's just regular wood. Not sure. How is everybody doing? Cuthron. What's going on with your health? Gunshot, revolver. Who's our primary doctor? Oh, rendering must be eight o'clock. Yep, we do have the progress renderer to save the screenshots. So, go ahead and turn self-tending on so people will take care of themselves. Oh, I think the autos, that auto, that's what that auto switch is. That's why those are off. Cool. I think that's the one of the switch, one of the mods that was added in by Jane. She wanted to add that into the rooms. There we go. Eventually, we're going to. I oh, should check the research. We have colony manager. We'll look at that eventually. Doors. I want to get these. I think that's going to be next because I want to get the the doors done. I do like the the the, the, improved, the prison doors. I'm wondering what this is supposed to be. Just like a random extra bedroom, maybe, possibly. How are we doing? Oh, it looks like there was some mining that happened over here. We do have some compact machinery up there for when we need components. It looks like we have some it's steel in here and over here. Don't think we have. No, speaking of Stream Puppy, if you're a streamer, I highly recommend checking out Stream Puppy. So we have an extra wooden table, an extra mat. The mats are going to be nice for later. Actually, we should move. Hey, Guthron's healed. Yay, he's healthy. This should be uninstalled. Let's uninstall this. And Epic, can you do this? There. And then let's reinstall this over here. Epa. Oh, I missed. 
dark. Can you please do this? Sarah, prioritize hauling that. <laughs> Stream Puppy is awesome. I'm trying to figure out some sound clips and such to add to it. But it's been so long since I've done any sort of sound clipping, I don't know where to start. No. I added a couple sound clips in for, for things. So, like... For when, for when we have people that, uh, <laughs> when the PTSD thing plays, that that was it. Initially, that was tied to that one, uh, but we have a couple of others. So, like when I'm having problems, see, if I'd have been paying attention, I would have played this one earlier, and I was having those issues with Streamlabs. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. I thought I did. I thought I knew. But every time, it's every time. It's it seems like every single time it starts. So they they change something, but yeah, isn't it? I like it. I like having those things in there, and I don't know if you've ex if ex if explored the other side of it yet, right, Maker? But it has a lot of mod abilities in there, so you you can give you can give your people who are modding your channel, you can give them access to that, and they can use they can help you manage the things in your stream like you would from the stream puppy. Yes. Exactly. Well, that's wh that's why I have that annoying sounds one. So that when the PTSD thing plays, it was supposed to play that, but that the sounds are on are in with the bot, and I'm not running the bot from from the chat bot from the cloud from cloud bot. So because it doesn't it doesn't it's. I don't necessarily have an issue with running the bot from the cloud. The problem I have is that the functionality, all the extra functionality that you get with the chat bot just isn't there in the cloud bot. So like, for example, I cannot get the shout, look, so the shout out command. So I'm gonna do a shout out again for you, Riot Maker, just because I want to, as an example. So that specific shout out, the way it reads, the way it posts up there, okay, so it puts, you, it puts your, um, your, your URL, it gets your title, Right, it shows the you know the game you were playing, all that stuff, and then it gets a clip, a highlight. To do that in the cloud bot, if I were to put what what's written into the into the chat bot thing into the cloud bot to have it do that, it wouldn't do it. You wouldn't see it. It would just wouldn't post. In order to get the link in there, I have to actually type in, have it put in all of the other things, and then have it use the user sign there to get your name or link, and it would never show the game. And I have yet to figure out how to make it do it. So I just gave up on the cloud bot and went back to running the chat bot. And because I didn't want to run the chat bot and the streaming software on the same computer, the chat bot's on my daughter's computer right there, which is eventually going to be the streaming computer. So this will play and feed to that one. Just have to finish setting up the card for it to do some system tests. So yes, all that to say, love stream puppy. You should definitely. No, this see this is part of the problem. This is part of the problem that I have. Sorry, I don't know I don't even know when my mic turned off. I don't I don't understand why the Streamlabs has issues with hotkeys. But they are constantly correcting, they're constantly changing them so that it so even though I'm using the exact same hotkey, it does different things. So that what just happened there. I I shared here it goes. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to press the stream puppy one. So I'll post exclamation mark stream puppy. First off, why does that mute my mic? That's not connected to that. 
Second off, why did it change my scene? There's no reason. And I have I have remapped them. The charity one used to do it also, the extra life. It would do that too. I had to actually change the extra life shortcut. I couldn't even type extra life, exclamation mark, extra life into into the channel. Not into the bot, not into the, just into the channel. Extra exclamation mark extra life would trigger the exact same thing. Or a scene change of some kind. So I don't know. This is part of why I'm looking after I move, I'm gonna go back to OBS Studio because there's just they're just trying to do too much and the stuff's broken. It's part of the reason why I'm starting to really dislike Discord. Because they're just they're trying too hard to get us into their ecosystem and I don't really I don't I don't I'm not a I wanna be in one ecosystem for everything kind of person. So who's my best hunter? Gaul got the six, got thrown four point five, ten point five Wolfie, seven point five, eleven point five. Jane, where are you, Jane? What are you doing? Jane, let's go hunt some animals. We're gonna mark these. Wildlife. Let's mark this for hunting. Jane. Um I want to prioritize hunting it. Hmm. Let's change her assignment. There. We'll draft her, and now she'll go hunt. Hunting boom up. I was having issue the other day where one of my stream puppy hockeys was putting Rimworld into screenshot mode and hiding all my controls in game, but I figured it out and fixed it. Yeah, I don't. I. Okay. Cool. So, um, sorry, I just got an update from Chellis Mike. Yeah, so that's the thing. I'm not sure if it's a stream puppy thing or if it's a stream or a slobs thing. But like you said, sometimes the stream stream puppy, I think it's stream puppy, but on, on occasion. I think it's just the way stream puppy is interacting with certain things because I'll do certain things on stream puppy and it will open menus. It'll open menus on, on RimWorld. So... I don't know. I need to talk to InstaFluff about it so, so he can. We've done we've done some research. We we've, we've talked about it to see, but I need to give him some more examples. Boom. Okay, so she's got that down. One down. Uh, Wolfie, how about you? Let's mark this to hunt. Okay, Wolfie, prioritize hunting the boomalope. Since it's raining, so the fire will get put out. So yeah, it, it's. I don't, and I don't necessarily think that switching to OBS Studio will fix all of that because, obviously, it has hotkeys also. But the the issue of well, let's see if it'll do it now. Extra life. Yep. See. Triggered that scene change. Why that triggers that scene change? I don't know. Well, the, you, you're right. You do have to be careful with the with the hotkeys because you don't want them to you don't want them to mess up. But the why typing certain things in chat does that? I don't know. We'll see what happens if I type the stream puppy thing. See, it changed it. Why does ty why does typing the and it's not but it's not all of them. I could do charity. And it doesn't do it. So this is what, I, I I don't know what's happening, and it's and it's it's progressively getting worse. So silver, you're hunting an iguana. Let's mark this to hunt, and let's get that because it's still raining. Silver. Where? Am I? Go get the boom because it's still raining. We might as well take them out now. So yeah, I don't. That right there is a yes. But what I don't understand is why stream pup, not stream puppy. Why slobs has turned just typing. Ooh, nice psychic sooth for the males since we are predominantly male. I think one, two, three, four females. One, two, three, four, five, six males. So six to four, sixty percent. I don't understand why typing that command into chat triggers that scene change. It shouldn't trigger a scene change. And I've tried clearing the scene change and then making it something else. 
and the the hotkeys that that uh, Stream Puppy uses have nothing to do with the the hotkeys that that you would say like this little buttons that you would hit on your keyboard because it has its combinations of things. So so that's like two different issues. Stream Puppy is I think is just triggering other get other programs hotkeys and that's not a stream puppy thing that's a that's a don't make your don't m make sure your things don't match other things so you know that that's all that that's just, you just have to be careful like you said when you map your when you map your keys but why slobs is triggering scene changes for simple because i don't even think if i go look at the settings i don't even think so let's look at that scene Scene six, my end scene, which for some reason, these are all out of order in here. So, wow, they've added a ton of buttons. It's alt shift bracket right. That's the switch to scene for that alt shift bracket right. None of those have anything to do with exclamation mark E X T R A L I F E or exclamation mark stream puppy. So why trigger that? <laughs> uh, now they've been helpful before. Streamlabs has been helpful before when I had the issue with my sound files not cooperating with my, my controls, telling them not to, you know, it, to blast really loud. They, and I would make the changes and it wouldn't save. And so I, I was getting triggered by my own sound alerts. Like when people raid or host, it was rough. The it, I tweeted them and they responded back to me and we worked it out and got it figured out. So I just I need to tweet them again and say, hey guys, what's going on? Why is this? So yay, welcome to let's talk about the problems with that streamers have when they try to do all of their stuff. <laughs> it's like talking shop, right? It's like we're gathering around the water cooler and we're talking shop. But yeah, I did. I very much enjoyed the control that OBS Studio gave. I want slobs was an experiment, and honestly, at this point, it's just it, I know it works, so I just keep using it. But I think I'm. I think after my move, and starting next weekend, but it's officially two weeks from Monday, this past Monday, so we're at like twelve days away from when we can when we'll be sleeping in the, new, in the new place. After I move and I've got everything set up there, because setting up my office will be the first thing I do, I'm going to work out. I'm gonna work out the whole changing, changing the, the setup to go back to OBS Studio, which I still have and it's still update. It's, Slobs is great for starting out. It's, they're not kidding when they say 60 seconds, 60 seconds and you're streaming. Derek, where are you going? It's raining. Why are you going outside? To... Whatever. Okay, so we have no carnivores to worry about. That's good. Look, even the animals know better than to go outside in the rain. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. Okay, so again, this is an extra live stream. As you can see by the banner up at the top, I'm 40% of the way to my first goal. I tend to get more donations towards the end of the year so don't panic if you're like oh he's only that we still have till the end of the year i just like try to i try to, to to talk about it throughout the year the hospital that i support providence which you can see more about right there that hospital is important to me because they saved my niece's life twice my niece was born 26 weeks i think it was 26 and a half something like that she was born very at the time it was the earliest you could be born guthron right Oh joy, we have a net we have a pregnant animal. Dromedaries. Well, at least they provide milk. But seriously, people, if I get overwhelmed with animals, it's it's, it's I'm I'm killing them, I'm slaughtering them. So she was born at the time at the earliest she could possibly be born. And they kept her alive in one of those beds and resuscitated her twice. My sister was on bed rest for months, and it was tough. It was tough for them. The 
my my nephew, he was born with autism, and I don't know the scale. I don't know where he falls on the on the on the scale. But that time with with mom being pinned down, you know, in hospital and all that stuff, and the long, the long, all the trips there and everything, it definitely it definitely affected him. And that same hospital got him a diagnosis that he needed so he could get the care that he needed and the treatment that he needed. So that hospital is very important to our family. The my sister does, usually does the March of Dimes and in the spring, and I do Extra Life in the in the fall to raise money for that hospital. So. If you would like to help with that, you can find out more at that link there. And, of course, the other one shows exactly how your money last year went to help. Those beds are expensive. We're talking ten grand per, so it's, it's expensive. And I've raised, like it says, yeah, just over, I've raised over $7,000, I think, for multiple hospitals. I think Providence, it's just shy of 5000 because I was supporting a different hospital initially, the one that my daughter was born at. And that several of our several of our friends' kids were born at and got a lot of help at. So, and you don't just have to donate. There are other ways you can do. you can join in, and you can find out more at. Let me post this on there. Extra hyphen life dot org. You can find out more about how you could join. You could join a guild in your area. You could join. You can find a team in your area. You can start your own team. Uh, you can. Oh, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I like talking about this specific thing. Riot Maker, where are you from? Got thrown. Military brat. I was born in Germany and then proceeded to live Germany, Georgia, Alaska, Germany, Colorado, Georgia. Went to college in Virginia while my parents moved to Vegas. Then I went to Korea after college. Went to New Mexico for a couple of years. Joined the military. Did Texas, California, Georgia, Germany, and now Dallas. <laughs> been all over the place. I am about to move into, I think it's my 39th different residence in 41 years. I have lived in a lot of different places. Rendering, we are on day two of my, my play today. This colony is doing a good job. I don't remember what difficulty I set it at. I know, I know I'm on Cassie, medium, Cassie medium. So eventually she'll, she'll start hitting the stuff. A visitor, a defector from the Theo Tri Federation is visiting. She may have a few items to trade. Cool. Who's my social person? The Michigan hospital. Um, well, Providence is, is not in Michigan. If you mean MCG, that's Medical College of Georgia. So that's a different one. But Providence is in Alaska. It's in, it's in Anchorage. So but if you mean when I mentioned MCG, MCG is, when I referenced it, it was Medical College of Georgia in Augusta. Because they, it's a, all these hospitals are Children's Miracle Network hospitals. And that's who, that's who they're, they're the hospitals that, that, that this particular charity supports. And because I know the question comes up, yes, when you donate to a specific streamer or team, the hospital that they're supporting well, in this case, the streamer, because the teams are just joint effort to help keep everybody go, going and everything, or, or play together, but everyone supports their own individual hospital. The money you donate to to the streamer, to the player, whatever, goes directly to the hospital. The overhead costs for the charity are, are paid entirely by sponsors. Okay, so Golgoth is a social of 9.97. You are not talking. Magnus, 7.3... 6.83. Somehow Magnus is our talker. Magnus, go trade with her. And of course, she's going the other direction. Where are you going? Is there a trading spot over here that I just don't see? What are you doing? Why did you go up? Pawns. Oh, thank you, Pot. Thanks for posting that. Package survival meals, no. I could buy the components. I'm gonna buy her medicine for sure, just because she doesn't have any melee weapons. That would kind of be nice, but she doesn't have any. I have a bunch of random weapons, I think, that must have come from the trade. Nothing is horrible. 
This will sell just because we can. That's poor condition, so we'll sell it. Not buying your poor hat. Why would you? That's in poor condition, so we'll sell that. Just to get it off our hands. I mean, I could care less about the hats, but I think that's good. I could. So we have them. But we're not really hurting for them right now, and I've got stuff that I can mine, so I think I'm just going to leave them for now. Okay, so there we go. Uh, can you all the medicine, please? Thank you very much. Not sure what happened to the silver that was sitting on the ground, but oh, oh, someone's hey, someone's talking to Nico. It's maintaining the cooler. Impa, why don't you talk to her? No, don't. So she has a thing right there where she can go. So. Hospital guests. I'll oh, see shopping area. <laughs> nice. You can give them a separate, a, a separate shopping area. So what are they doing? Entertaining. We could try to recruit her. Let's see. Let's see. What do we know about her? Aniko, what do we know about you? Shooting is good. Medical's good. That's nice. She's a night owl. She can't do our fast walker too smart. Hmm. Not too bad. I think I will. I think I will. Here, go hang out with her for a bit. Let's see how she how she does. See, it has it like a task that she can do. Charmed. So I can't do anything more right now, so I have to let her let her be for a bit. Eighty-eight percent. I guess this is satisfaction. I think. Miko does not like enough of your colonists, so we need to have more people talk to her. She's been. I guess the hospitality is is pretty high. Okay, so that's nice. Golgoth, can you talk to her? Saraya, can you talk to her? Nope. Uh, Jane, can you talk to her? Nope. Can anybody talk to her? Anybody else? Nope. Cuthron's sleeping, but can he? Nope. How about you, I kill Omega? Nope. Silver? Yes. Let's go hang out with her. There. Charmed, I'm sure. Improving relationship. Oh, somebody took your meal. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. Do we not have anybody assigned to cleaning? So there's a cleaning priorities thing in here, and I don't know where you get where you access it. So we've got the animals one. I never actually finished this. Five five. No, don't automatically butcher excess livestock, but don't touch any of those. We definitely don't want to touch any bonded. Don't follow. Yeah, just don't do that at all. Okay, so that one's good. See, so and you can do other things. Like this. So let's do crazy. Let's do. Only mature plants. Count. All on the map. And manage. There we go. So now we can. I don't necessarily need this yet, but I can actually prioritize mining some stuff. I don't think we're hurting for steel just yet. I don't know where they're storing. Yeah, we could use some steel. So let's manage our, let's do steel. Target count, 500 is a good number. We'll burn through it, but count all in map. And check for roof supports, definitely. 
deconstruct buildings hey, if you've got the option. Okay, so there's that. We don't have power management research yet. Hunting. Don't need to worry about that just yet. But, I mean, we can for some things that so rats, hares, just to keep them down. Don't touch the boom rats. Gazelles, iguanas. I don't remember what the attack rate on ostriches are, so count all on map. There. So now we have some managing things going on. I wonder who will hop to it first. Silver? Nope. So you can't do anything with her. You can't. Sarah, can you? Well, we just finished that, so. Not assigned to managing. Impa, how about you? Can you do it? Here, go there and do some management stuff. You can work on that later. Let's go ahead and set some steel here to mine so that it's available. So we can get to it. This mine, this vein probably goes all the way to there, and it will probably close this off later for defensive purposes. It looks like, I mean, obviously we could still get attacked over here, but that's a good defense point right there. We can set that up nicely to block that. We'll want to obviously wall this off so that they have to, so they can't just go through that, and then we'll need to do something over here. I'm not, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. What do we have a lot of marble? This, this is where we are in the world. I don't know if I don't know if the ship has been announced to us yet. I didn't see it in I didn't see it in Chellis Mike's opening stream. Yeah, they are not happy with us. This is our random spot. So I mean, that's another thing to consider. We are probably not going to stay in this spot initially. We may move. So, yeah, we're doing 50%, 50% map, not 100%. That was done in consideration for other people's computers. Okay, so there's the ship. So we're going to have to go way up to the north to get to it. So probably go this way, less desert. Because now that's all desert, desert shrubland shrubland so we're right here so we will probably go this way mad emu mad emu jump to location where's the emu uh well now looks like impa what are you doing impa run away run 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 Get inside. Okay. There is a bug that is bugging me. So forbid this door. Go work on something else. Shoe fly. So let's leave that Maddie move over there. Deal with it yourself. Don't care. Okay, so we have some steel over here. Cool. Might as well set it. It looks like the bot, uh, not the bot, the the manager will set things to, to mine for you. Which is not a bad thing. So you don't have to go around setting every single ounce of steel. You just kind of have to make sure that you zone your people correctly so you don't have to worry about who might, who, who, you know, what might happen to them. You can't just go into autopilot on that. Okay, so who can talk to her now? No. No. Magnus, what are you doing? You're cooking. Trading, right? So you're trying to 
Jane, are you trying to... Oh, you're recruiting. Okay, that's why I was like, why does it keep saying it's... We're locked by Jane. All right, Jane. Do a gentle lady's work. She's offended. What happened? Jane made friendly gestures towards Benico. Benico was getting annoyed. <laughs> she is the son of G and Duster, the friend of Magnus, an acquaintance of Impa. So that did not go well. Magnus and Guthrun chatted about beaches. Okay, so we're just going to have to let her be for a bit. She does have a nice place to stay at least. We, we've given her that. Oh, I should... Orders. Not haul. Smooth this room. Smooth those out. For now, that's all set. The smoothing, if you wonder why, it's it's just a way to get people to... So like if I go on here, look at construction. Okay, and I expand it out, right? So where's... Construction is... Where did it go? Everything blew up and now I can't see where it all is. Clean, haul... I turn my head. Okay, there it is, right there in the middle. So, fix broken roof, uninstall structures, build roofs, remove floors, maintain components, construct placed frames, deliver resources, deconstruct structures, repair damaged, remove floors, smooth floors, right here. So, I could go in and pick all the people who are bad at construction, assign them to construction, and specifically prioritize smoothing floors when they do it. So that's what we're going to do. He's a 15. He doesn't need to be doing that. 14. Doesn't need to be doing that. 9. Not really. 6. We're getting closer. 5. 5. 4. So all of these people don't necessarily need it, but look at all these people. They are horrible at it. So if I put them on just that, on smoothing surfaces. Actually, we'll do that just for right now, right? So now, all of those, I'll shrink this back down. It looks like they're on one, but they're only on one for one thing. So they will go smooth these floors now, and smoothing floors gains them construction skill and never costs you material. So you don't have to worry about wasted resources. So that's why, that's why I like that one. Don't necessarily have to have, you know, the whole, you know, the numbering system is whatever, but that's something I do like about the, the work tab is have, have, having that kind of control, being able to expand it out and say, hey, you know what, these people who are horrible at this, let's have you do this. And it's not like we lack floors that need to be. Uh, on. Nope, can't do anything with her yet. Nope. Magnus, where are you? I know you usually can. Nope, too soon. Smooth and you know, smooth floors, whatever. They they I'm still I don't I still don't know that the, the benefit of the smooth floor over other floors is really that strong. Off. but I I do like the I do like how it can help without costing you anything yeah it doesn't look like we have anybody whose job it is to clean there's no Sarah and Impa we'll put them on cleaning so that they'll make sure things get done Obviously, Sarah's going to be a little distracted with this stuff. Wearing a shirt. Apparently, her shirt needs to be changed. 
I didn't realize there was a need. Go ahead and go back to what you were doing. Go sleep. No need to keep going on that. Guthron, can you talk to her yet? Mm. Magnus, how about you? Nope. Smoothing of a rough limestone marble slate area should increase movement speed to 100% from 80. Yeah, so there's that too. The improved, the improved speed. That That's another benefit also. And it costs you nothing but pawn time. <laughs> I mean, when it comes down to it, it's costing you nothing but pawn time. So, like, why not? Okay, so... We're approaching the end, roughly. I, I wasn't paying attention to the time when I started, the colony time when I started, but I know that we've had two progress renders and we are about halfway through to the next one. So, okay, so yeah, that's the that's the question. So if I, so it says that that provides two, like two beauty here. And some of it's the impressiveness, but. So it says that it provides two, and that this one unsmoothed is minus one. And over here, you have this. So this technically, because it's been smoothed, says two, and this. So there's, I think there's still some, that, but this is wood floor. Like if I had some other type of flooring in here, we could see. I don't know if there's any flooring around. See, this provides one, right? So it says, so here we have some kind of, it looks like marble, Marble flooring right here only provides one. It says it only provides one. And the smooth floor here provides two. But I have seen rooms with better. Oh, looks like we have some power. Outage problems. I have seen rooms that have all smooth floors and have that too. Next to other floors that have some kind of like tile or something in it. And... So you have the twos and then the ones. The twos for the smooth floors, the ones for the other type of floor. But the room that had the tile, as opposed to the smooth floor, had a higher beauty, even though it didn't look like it should have. So I don't know how they're figuring that out. That's I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I have, So I'm not doing the smooth floor because I just don't feel like, because I think it's going to have a better beauty effect. I'm doing it because I want... The free construction boosts on as many people as possible. Okay, refugee chased at first hope. Uh, hold on one second. I just got a message. Okay, Charles Mike says he's done. Let me check and see how he's doing. Charles Mike had a uh, rating review today. He had to drive to another city to do it, and so I told him to. to... Good. Are you okay? And I told him to check in with me when he was done. That is a rough interview. You have to go in and basically be scrutinized. And you have to go and you have to spend the morning writing down notes about things he needed to make sure that they knew. And it's rough for him. Okay, so a medieval lord named Kenzo calls you. Pardon me. He's 52. And what do we know about him? He's human. Well, that's good. He has a passion for shooting, melee, animals, and social. He's an undergrounder, so he likes being underground. Pessimist, but he's sickly. Uh, and he's incapable of dumb labor, skilled labor, intellectual crafting. Now here it is, the requirements. According to the rules, I do not have to accept him because he is, does not have a relationship with one of our 07, the original 7. So, bye. Stop screaming into our radio that doesn't exist because we don't have... <laughs> We don't have a radio. Hey, can you haul this stuff? Stop. These people just leave corn everywhere. It's horrible. Come on, people. Clean up. You, you, you took the time to mine it. Come on. Yes, this is a safe space, everybody. You can, you can be sure you won't be triggered here. Um, also, you're appreciated here. We, all of you, um, viewers, whether you're lurking or you're, you're chit-chatting or whatever. Uh, you, th this is one place that you can, when you come here, you can know that we appreciate you. We appreciate you being here. Uh, you are a special, unique person, and we, we, we value what you, what you bring to this experience here. So, thank you to those who are hanging out. Thank you 
to uh, those who are lurking. Thank you to those who are chit-chatting, who are hosting, whatever. Uh, you, we appreciate you being here. Um, yeah, so this looks like, I mean, it looks like the plan here was to build something. Like a room or something. We don't necessarily lack for rooms right now. I know eventually we're going to want to close off some of this stuff. Put the, like, move this down here and put it in its own. That's not that big. Like putting the, putting the research bench and the manager desk in the same room makes sense. Hey, Riot Maker. Thanks for that host. We appreciate it. Thank you. I'm taking you're not, I'm guessing you're not streaming today. Besides wanting to vomit, um, that, that, that <laughs> do you need to? <laughs> Talking to Chalice Mike. Oh, right. And if he does call because he needs to talk, I'll mute. I'll keep the thing going, but I'll mute and I'll um, mass hide the camera. Just while I'm doing what I'm doing. So... Oh, it went back to the RimWorld scene. I don't want to be on the RimWorld scene. I want to be on the Extra Life scene. Sorry, I didn't... When, when we had the issues earlier, I, I just automatically went back to the RimWorld scene. Okay. Oh, oh. Some more there, and another one right there. As the feeling is there, but it never actually happens. So I guess he's not going to... No, I have tomorrow off, so I'm going to do a long stream tomorrow and overnight into Friday. I want to try to push to 50 followers. I only have 22 to go. Well, I will give you one another shout-out because I can. It's my channel. Uh, everybody, you should go give Riot Maker a follow. Follows are free. They really are. And if you like a nice, chill place to hang out where you're not going to be triggered, where you get to interact with the streamer and he's gonna and uh, and you get to watch someone who's you know lear learning this game and learning the art of streaming and all that stuff that that's a good yeah, there are worse places to hang out let me tell you definitely worse places to hang out uh, i tend to spend i spend my mornings hanging out in one of three channels um i'll hang out in fg squared because she's always entertaining I hang out in 2D Carries because she's she's an entertaining and very pleasant place to be, and she's going she's close to being able to partner. Oh boy, we recruited somebody. He was already. <laughs> so I ticked somebody off. Oops. But she said, it said when she came that she was a defector. So she clearly wanted nothing to do with that. So that's why I did that. So we now have another one, Benico. So she's 66. Okay. She's a shooter. We're going to have her equip a weapon, have her equip. We have an incendiary launcher, a pump shotgun. Charles Mike, I do not envy the jobs of those who conduct these evaluations. You get all the garbage, but you're not even in a position to help them through it. One of the questions, why do you feel guilty? What a winner. Seriously, they asked you that? Seriously, they asked that? And no consideration whatsoever for what that's going to put him through the rest of the day. Bringing, bringing up that question, the moral injury question, and leaving him and then not... You sure? And then basically not providing him with a, a like a landing spot, a parachute, anything like that. This, this is why I was concerned about it. And I hated doing it myself too. It's that is such a such a touchy, touchy, touchy subject. The the, the moral injury. You never know how where it's going to come up. You never know exactly how. And oh hey, the bot the bot posted it. So there you go. Oh, no 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 annoying sounds right does this count as annoying you can be sure you won't have any annoying sounds here so benico go equip this short bow yeah short bow uh so i have a i have a i have a tune to name that's wrong take a break to be 
I don't have to, so I'm good. So we have a new recruit. I Jeez, if you guys, let's put it this way. If you would like to have a pawn named in this colony after you, speak up. And I can, if, the, if, I, have a, if I have a couple people that do so, then I can, then I will. Otherwise, I will name her something after The Legend of Zelda, which is the naming, the IP that we're using to name. It wasn't rhetorical. I know it wasn't rhetorical. I know that. Still. You would like to be? Okay, just a second. Still. Are you sure you're okay? Great, so you want to be the old lady? Is that what you want to be, right, Maker? You would like to be the old lady? We'll see if somebody else speaks up. If not, you will be Benico. You will be a shopkeeping defector <laughs> and who's incapable of art, who lives at night, is a fast walker, and you're too smart for your own good. Okay. Don't, he says, I'm, I'm not really okay, but I'm safe. Okay, okay, don't drive until you're sure. This is kind of what he and I do do for each other. We kind of keep each other going. But, on, but a lot of it, I mean, it, it, he said it earlier, a lot of the, the, what happens with our friendship is because I push. If I didn't push, he wouldn't. So, so do I call you Riot Maker or just Riot Maker? I'll do it. Riot Maker. There you go, Riot Maker. You are, you have joined the Pixel Sharks colony. Welcome. Oh, welcome. All right, so you, let's get you restricted to us. You're a night owl. Why are you sleeping in the day? Why aren't you sleeping in the day? Okay, so I'll set you to sleep from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So that's when you'll sleep. The rest of the time is up to you. Okay, no worries about that. I'm just sitting in the truck working on comedy down. No worries about that. Cool. So uh, part of why I do the multiplayer stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays is because it gives him something that I know that he can do, that he can succeed at. That's that's happens on a schedule. So it kind of makes him it makes him be better in some ways. And he does the same for me. Monday he kinda he hot swapped in for me so I didn't have to do it. And yesterday he even though he was pretty sure I wasn't gonna glad you suggested notes. I'm glad I suggested notes too, because when I did mine I couldn't remember half the things I needed to say. And you know, yesterday I think he was surprised I ended up streaming because I had just a horrible day. Okay, so she strips herself. So why what why is all this sitting here? Okay, so, and let's give you a bed. We have a double bed here for you. So, Riot Maker. You assign. So, you have a nice, you have a nice bed. Uh, I will, we will endeavor not to get you killed. Remember, if, um, in case you weren't here for it, I'll share it again. Tiny.cc slash Pixel Sharks Hot Potato Season 2 rules. There are the rules. One of the rules, one of the extra goals requirements is we have to try to get to 18 colonists. So, we are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> We're already two-thirds of the way there. And that's the hospitality mod at work right there. But unfortunately, um, they are not exactly happy with us right now. They're not hostile, but they're not exactly happy with us. Oops. All right, let's see what he had to say. Um, glad she the notes. When she asked about physical symptoms, I completely spaced about what happens... During a panic attack, though, she could see if I hadn't written things down, I would have forgotten much more. I know. Been there. I'm still here. If you need it. So, yeah, I was I, I was very concerned about, about him going alone today. Okay. So, yes, yes, yes. Happily join the colony. We have a new colonist. Yes, yes, I know you're angry. I'll jump back online when I get home. I'll be at dog training. But I'll be here later. So, no, I'll see you can call. 
had to move my surface dog training to, to today because Saturday I'm going to, he's going to be going with me to his first convention. It'll be a ex new experience for him. Golgoth, can you please haul this crap? I don't know why it's all just sitting here. Magnus is building. Okay, so Jane is planting. Daruk is eating in the middle of the Sure. Okay, so what do we have like for zones? The animals, they're in grazers only. Okay, so let's see how we... Okay, so they can't get into most of our crops. Looks like... There's a small section of, hold on. Did I hit the kill switch in time? <laughs> the cough switch? <laughs> oh, that was a sneeze. Hopefully I hit it in time and I didn't do that right in your mind, in your ears. I apologize if I didn't hit it in time. But when I looked up, it looked like it had, it had muted, so. Okay. So it looks like the animals can get through right there. I just want to make sure they're not able to eat all of our crops because their barn is right here, but their only way out to get to the, everything else is down here. I am, we are just about at the, the top end of what I, I want to have in terms of animals. I don't like having all of these animals. And we can't, and what bonded animals have to be a part of those, if there's no, no, no slaughtering or selling of bonded animals because we don't want to have to deal with the, the negative effects long term. That's another thing we, we wrote into the rules that if you do something that causes the next person, like so if you start a sequence of events that causes the next person to drop, the drop belongs to you. So, like if you, if you, if you set up a, an event that results in a bonded animal dying and the person who is bonded to goes berserk and kills the colony wipes the colony then that drop belongs to you even though you weren't the one playing because you're the one that's that that got the animal killed so yeah or even if you just set you set the situation up to happen and then it started and then you saved and ended and you passed the potato and then the actual event started and we could say look the only reason that this person had to start this event right after you is because you set this up to happen and look what happened the result was you know, then that was basically just to make sure that people are when they're doing when they're making decisions about things that they just they think they think about how those things will affect um, everybody else so furniture I don't know why we don't already have this stuff. Okay, let's make let's make some. We don't have a lot of wood on this one, do we? Oh, there is not a lot of wood. That's why he's growing the maple. So I guess I'm just gonna use steel for now. Let's put some let's put some let's put some baskets in here. Okay, and then let's put a medicine cabinet here for the herbal medicine. And then a meal tray rack. Get the steel. We'll put it right here. And then let's make a clothing rack and put it right here and we'll get a metal we got a steel meat hook put the steel meat hook here and here then, so we got the medicine cabinet what am i missing oh weapons locker steel weapons locker put it right here hello flame how are you how are you today? Welcome to our uh, to our hot potato colony. 
my extra life team is doing a past past potato colony and this is technically episode three although episode two hasn't aired yet because it's recorded by someone living in a hotel presently and he hasn't uploaded it yet so but i went ahead and playing my turn now there are seven of us all taking turns one one each day i usually go on mondays but i had to tap out for monday and so someone else took my spot and i'm going to build a copy of this uh here so there we go that way we'll get some things going but how are you doing today hello or hello i just read your i just read your text as you didn't know how are you doing today flame glad you're here and i appreciate you taking the time to hang out with us here all right so contents storage foods raw resources Let's go ahead and put uh, vegetarian. We'll go ahead and put corn in this one. And this one will have the rice. And then I'll remove corn from this. And I also they'll put it, they'll move it in there. I'm okay. Thanks. Been a bit stressed out because of exams. Just relax for now. How's your day gone? Exams can be stressful. I understand. Uh, it's going well. I did not get as much work done as I wanted to this morning, but I, I'm basically enforcing a I must stop work doing my work work for stream, and I will not go back to it afterward because I'm not doing I'm not doing a good job of keeping myself. I don't function as well in the back half of the day. And so it's better for me if I if I put that limitation in there. So I just have to be more functional in the morning. And, and you know, it's, I struggle to be functional generally. So it's, you know, it's, what are you going to do? But today, uh, I'm glad that I had this today because if I didn't have this today, I might have skipped the stream. I might have skipped the stream, and I, um, if I didn't have this today and a dog training today, I might have actually attempted to go to my, my family. My wife's parents are visiting, and they went to the botanical gardens today, and I might have tried to go with them. And I'm not sure how I would have been after that. And I, I, I'd rather be social in the evening when they're, when they're here than try to push myself to be social someplace else, if that makes sense. I'm going to wear myself out and not be able to hang out with them here. So... But had I not had to do the pet the hot potato today, I probably would have skipped. If we're being honest here, I'm just being honest about how things have been going. So I'm glad I had it today. So medicine, we will put the herbal medicine in there. And we'll take the herbal medicine out of here. Uh, I guess it's under there. There's no herbal medicine in there. And no herbal medicine. So it's it's balancing. It, I do a lot of balancing. Um, I my commitment yesterday to them was that I would I would be here and that I would go see a movie. And we went and saw Aladdin, and it was it was very good. I enjoyed it. It's my favorite, one of my if not my favorite of the older Disney movies. It's close to. I've always loved that story, and I thought that they did a very good job with that. There were some things that had me. Um, I have a hard time, I'm just not going to lie here, I have a hard time with emotional highs and lows. So, it's, it can be, it's a balancing act for me in terms of, so, uh, I did cry. I did cry at the movie last night because there was this moment where I was so happy that I, I, I just broke down. And it didn't last very long. So, because I'm kind of on an upper end of my of my swing right now, but it did still happen. Um, that those those massive ups and downs can really mess with me sometimes. Um, but I didn't go off the deep end like I sometimes do when I get overwhelmed by emotions. So that was good, and I enjoyed the experience overall. Okay, so let's remove the meat from this so that it will hang all on there. Jane is moving stuff around, so we need to get some more power. We just don't have enough power. 
Let's build a couple more turbines. It's gonna get blocked right there. Definitely put it right there. It's gonna get blocked if I put it there. So I think this is gonna be the best spot for now. Okay, and then put power conduit, the invisible kind. There. Okay, so this is part of the reason why I came back to streaming was because I wanted to commit myself to something that would make me do it, that I, that I, that I knew that I would enjoy, that I would want to do every day. So that's part of the reason why I came back to streaming. And I've been making a point of doing it every day. People have asked me why, when I struggle, why do I keep doing this? And I said, it's because this is something I know that I can that I can succeed at every day that I know I want to do. So why would I not? Why would I not do that? Okay, so where is the coffee? Plant matter. Might as well just put all of these in there. So this one will be for all of those. Can these hold milk? I didn't know if they could hold milk. So is that, well, that's not done yet. But can these hold milk? I didn't know. Content storage, raw food. I don't know if they can hold milk. They're not under meat, so that's for sure. Vegetarian, animal products. Yeah, they can, so I can't put milk in one of these. This will also be for plant matter. I'll we'll have this one be for plant matter. Cool. And I need someone to finish building this rack, so. Hmm. So yeah. And I, I've i also found that as a part of my new norm, I have to very carefully manage what, what how I do. I have to, everything has to be done in bite-sized chunks. If I try to do anything big, yeah, I just get overwhelmed by it. So everything has to be done in bite-sized chunks so that I can set myself up for success, for success, really, is what it comes down to. Okay, so this one will be for, what is this? Garden coffee. Can I put garden coffee in this? Storage. So we'll put milk and unfertilized eggs in there. Can I put... I don't know why coffee would be under drugs, but just checking. I don't think I can actually put coffee in there. Okay. So coffee will just sit on the floor for right now. Eventually I could we can build um, refrigerators, but we aren't we aren't we don't have enough guaranteed power right now. Okay, so this will be for meals. We'll put I mean we might as well put all of our meals there. Fine meals, lavish meals, simple meals. There. So then with the meals, we'll take fine meals, lavish meals off of that. Okay, so. Oh, is she doing it? Cool. I like, I like when they do these things. It's nice. We'll never do hauling. Well, you're just useless. I said it. I said it. Uh, Daruk, can you haul the corn? Please haul the corn. So, I'm. Um, you said you were stressed out because of exams. Did you get any results, Flame? I, I'd like to know if, we, if you have results from your tests. Or are we just are we kind of in that waiting period? Obviously, I don't want to you know, make a massive deal out of it if you, if you didn't succeed, but hey, <laughs> it's one of those. Just want to make sure. Okay. So this can go, okay, cool, he's got that. Get that meal. No, it's my, le it's my A levels I find out sometime in August. Okay. So that I'm, I'm guessing that means you're in England because of the, just the difference in the way you, you listed that. 
I don't need medicine. These things do not need to be in the cooler. They need to be over here. We can put an actual medicine cabinet over here for them. Yes, I know we don't have enough storage. That's fine. We can, we can, we can get more steel. That's not a problem. For now, we'll put the medicines over here. Anti antibiotics may need to stay in every glitter world and it doesn't. So we'll put antibiotics in here. Well, that's a long time to wait. We have a visitor. A gatherer from the Camino Hill colony is visiting. His name is Bogo Bagotoxos. Bagotoxos, the Camino Hills faction. We are neutral with them. I am not recruiting this one. So I have eight exams total, and I've done two so, so far, so slowly making my way through. Hey, progress. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that part. Progress. That's, that's good. Uh, you are in England. Cool. I actually have to mail something to England. I have a book. A <laughs> I have to mail a German book to a friend in England. She lived with us for a year, and she was teaching in a German school when we lived in Germany. And we have the book that is way high level. And my, my daughter is, you know, she's fluent in German. And we kind of try to keep her in a you know, good supply of books that she can read, uh, along with talking to her best friend in Germany every weekend, and German glasses, and stuff like that. But this book is way above her level. So we're just going to send it to our friend in England. And I just picked it up yesterday and had to move it somewhere. Area revealed. What did we find? More steel. That's what we found. <laughs> So let's mine this. Set this stuff to mine. There we go. So we got some more steel. Sarah cannot pick up marble chunk, and I guess you won't haul either. Why is this just sitting here? This thing's moved. Um, I don't need all of them hauled. Cancel. I am selecting all of them. I don't understand. Is there not a storage area over here? Has this stuff just been sitting here? Oh, I think when I when I did this, I I blocked off that. I see. So there's, yeah, that's what they did. Okay, so let's make a new storage zone. Dumping stockpile. delete this one. Expand this one. There. So that's all together. Cool. I don't need this one. Delete. Okay, cool. So this one is just going to be for no corpses. Steel, stone, and where is it? Where'd they go? Stone blocks. There. Okay. I think I say that a lot on stream. Probably need to come up with something else to say. See, honestly, it might actually be better. We don't really have to worry about things coming from over here. So I might actually be able to close, because this is farmable land right here. Instead of turning this into a kill box over here, close this and close this, or close it like right there, and then right there, and then use all this, you know, to farm on, and then create a kill box over here in this spot right here where we're basically baking out anyway because of the steel. We'll see. Sorry, I was just checking on the surface dog. It's been quiet. Too quiet. Okay. Is that Emu still mad? No, he's not still mad. Uh, Toxos is laying down and looking at the clouds. 
Whatever works for you, buddy, whatever works. Let's we'll haul those and let's haul these. Let's get these out of here. I wanna, I wanna expand the space eventually. So, okay, so clothing. Clothing rack, this will be for t-shirts, tribal wear, pants, dusters and button down shirts. Jackets. I guess we can probably put parkas on there too for now. I want to build another one for armor and stuff. So this will be for melee weapons. This will be for ranged weapons. Low priority. Packaged survival meals can go in here. So can canned meals. We don't need them over here. These, I should probably actually put the nutrient paste meals in here because I'm not sure if they need, I can't remember if they need to be refrigerated. Not that we're making nutrient paste meals right now. So why are we running out of power? Why is, what's the power requirement? What's happening? We have, we have, bat we have batteries. Why is everything running out of power? We have power. Is it just picking up again? I don't know. This is fine. Oh, the tree. This one's going to be blocked. Poop. Oh, I need to check one thing I did not check. Options, mod settings. In that, that the rules thing. There's settings specifically for minify everything. I need to make sure that disable minifying for auto door, bamboo campfire, blast doors, campfire. Can I select multiples? Let's see. Campfire, door, Oh, can't see. campfire. Door, door, like all the doors. So gates. Put that there. Grave. Just dig them up and put them down. Jail door. Remote door. Oh, that, that searches in both boxes. Ship. Just put everything in. No moving stuff. Not with this. Ship structural beam and walls. So no moving that stuff. All me personally, my limitation on that one would have been we could still move walls just because, you know, instead of deconstructing them, but you can't. The other limitation is we can't actually take any of these things with us. That's that's one of our limitations is we have to rebuild when we go where we're going. Okay, so this. Maybe. If I reinstall it like that. Yeah. So let's read, let's do that. Dark, go do that. The main reason why I like having that mod is just because there are some things that you should be able to take down and put back. And I know for a fact, because I've seen to, I've seen it to, let's do it in real life, I know for a fact that you can move wind turbines. Take them apart, put them back together again. But to, to, to lose, to, having to deconstruct them, that just, that's just annoying. So we have coffee. Hay grass, corn, heel root, hay grass, hay grass. That's good. That's good. Uh, rice. And what's this over here? Potatoes. Do we have a spot for potatoes? So we have corn, storage settings, vegetarian, corn, rice, potatoes. So corn, rice, potatoes for sure. This is milk and stuff. And this is various. Things okay. This is all of your 
animal corpses and things. Oh, but I don't have a place for the meat. Shoot. Uh, I'm going to need to build some more of these. I do, and I do want to build another one of these right here. It's fine. I know we don't have enough. So meat needs to be able to go in here. Sorry. So storage, I'm going to change. This is low priority and all of these are important. So, okay, so you're doing that. Toxos is messing around with that. Just being a host. We're not recruiting. Oh, hang on. I need to set that. Entertain. No recruiting. I don't want to recruit him. We do still have a, be a bedroom for him, and it's getting better. We do probably want to build some better, some end tables for the bedrooms. Well, really, when it comes down to it. I don't know if we have wood for this, but hey, heck, just improve on the beds. Oh, I should build a copy in here and there. This should be, why, I don't know why this is like this. Maybe I have to uninstall it. Maybe I have to, to, to make it so that it's not a guest bed and then I can move it. Yeah, because, okay. I'll worry about that in a second. We don't lack bedrooms, apparently. But that was apparently something important. I don't, I'm wondering what this is because we put these down here. It's like someone was planning something here, but they didn't take into account the power requirements. I don't know. I would like to, you know, put some of them over here. I, I put some once we've got this a little more planned out. I suppose I could. Let's get this stuff hauled into the chunk zone. I should expand this. This should just be, I should purge this zone because I put that there. Because I put that there, I should just purge that zone. Wow, I got a lot of... Thank you, Goober. I appreciate that you're willing to haul that for me. It's very nice of you. So I went to the trouble of, of building that, and now the wind went away. Prison containment, that's what we're working on right now. Has created a wooden end table masterwork. Nice. I appreciate your I appreciate your work there. End table masterwork plus point five. So Daruk here have a nice little boost to your bedroom. That's nice. Appreciate that. All right, so I've been streaming for two hours. I did indicate that I would stream until tw till two fifteen because I started the colony play a little late, and we're supposed to play the colony for a minimum of two hours, maximum of four. On Monday, depending on how the day goes, I may actually do the full four. You'll get two out of me for sure for this colony because that's the minimum. And the, the top end limitation was because if I didn't do that, a certain co-host of mine who shall go un, unnamed for this moment would stream for 12 to 14 hours. So... I think I want to use sandstone to wall this and then this. I 
like so. So that we can block that off. And have this be the way in and out right here. So the animals are gonna have to change theirs and they'll have to be able to come through here. So let's go ahead and do that. Animals manage your zone for the grazers. No zone. Expand allowed area for the grazers to go right there. And then clear allowed area. There, there. So that way they don't need to come in here. Or there. Let's clear that. We have not lost anyone yet. We've had we had a couple close calls. Chalice Mike decided that he wanted to clear this cave complex of bugs in the very first episode. Thank you, Jealous Mike, for that. And then Silver Zodiac in episode two, which hasn't aired yet. He recorded it. He has to upload it because he's in a hotel. Silver Zodiac had multiple raids that he had to deal with. He lost. He created a master masterpiece, and so they raided and stole that. And then he accepted Daruk, Saria, Saria and Impa in as uh, refugees and had to fit to fight off the thing. So other than that, no, we haven't lost anyone. And the original seven, Golgoth, Guthron, Magnus, Wolfie, Silver, Jane, and Hikill Omega, those are the, the original seven that we started with. Okay, so there, that way they'll go there. Cool, there. Oh, I forgot to add to their zone. Razors. So if they can come through here. Clear that so they're not going that way. But if they're gonna come over, they gotta go that way. That's just so they, they don't go in and eat and eat our eat our crops. They can eat the, this stuff because that's being grown for them. Rare thrombos. The small herd of thrombos. Now one of our challenges is to is to tame a thrombo. That's one of the challenges, but we don't have Wolfie is our top animal person, and I'm, I'm not even I wouldn't even dare try that uh, until she's at 20 and she's in a fantastic mood just because it's just because it's so hard. So that's that's just. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yes, yes, I know, I know. All right, Maker, where are you? Are you going for a walk? Okay, go for a walk. Oh, yeah, look at all this steel. It just keeps going, doesn't it? All right, so we got about five more minutes to do what I'm going to do today. I think we're doing really well. I got the storage things built. Ah, here we go. So let's let's fix this. I want to be able to put lavish meals on this one and not on this one. So can I put coffee now? No, I can't. So I'm gonna change this to low priority. Oh and hey, cool. So this will be meat and this will be meat. So Everything else will be. Is it? I, uh, I mean, this is one of the things that I, sh I should have thought of, but Chalice Mike is the one that reminded me that when you're setting up all these little nice little extra storage things, even if you're just using zones, that you should always have at least one that's you're able to store everything in that's set to low priority, because then no matter what happens, you'll always be able, everything will go into storage. You won't have to worry about. Uh, not you know, wondering what you like right clicking on something and saying hey let's get this get this um, stored and it says we can't store it it is a Guthron it is indeed a Guthron how are you doing Jacksonator uh, I saw you came back streaming I was 
I wasn't able to catch it because I didn't see it until afterward, but I did see that. So welcome back. What were you playing? That's right. You were playing chess and you have no saved highlights, buddy. Come on, make some highlights. <laughs> so medicine, glitter world medicine bandage kit for sure. Uh, I don't remember which of these needs to be. Yes, I noticed. I don't know which, I can't remember which of these needs to be refrigerated. I don't think ibuprofen needs to be or penioxicillin or fluies. So I'll go ahead and put those in there too. Drugs, neutramine, can't remember if that needs to be since. Wonderful, just got up from a nap, slept from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hey, naps, sometimes the naps are, a, are precisely what you need. Um, I <laughs> tend to take naps on Sundays after I have to do church and stuff. To arcade game to an arcade game mode inside Dota called Auto Chess. I was I was wondering what that was. It it had it had me curious. I was I was very curious about what it was. So before I wrap this, I want to I'm I'm, I'm coming close on my time. I want to get I want to get these clothing this clothing stuff. Will you will you not haul sorted? I want to get them all. Guthrum, will you help Hall? Yeah, get in there and help Hall. Sarai, will you help Hall? Yes, well, let's get this stuff hauled. I want to get some of this stuff sorted into the different storage areas. What are you going in here? Oh, I'm grabbing package survival mail. And so I do a new thing for my channel. I, I hey, hey, rough times. How are you? I can't remember rough times. Do you stream or you just hang out in everybody's chat? Uh, it's nice to see you. Uh, welcome to our our version of the hot potato. This is our second season, and there are seven of us playing this time instead of just two. And we're doing it all for extra life. And you can find out more about that at the, about my attempts to fundraise for the hospital that saved my niece's life. At that link right there, and you can find out more about the hospital by reading that. So that we're doing this for extra life. So and we are inspired by the official hot potato that run by Wojess and Spartans too and all that stuff. They just wrapped their second season and I'm, I'm told they have started the plans for season three. Woo. There's no place to store them. Okay, looks like that that rack got full quickly. <laughs> I think it's because it's ten of ten. That I, I figured that would happen. So let's put a couple more in right there. Do we have any weapons left sitting around? It looks like the weapons all managed to make it in. Okay, so. Oh, but yeah, welcome in. I, this is this is the end of my of episode three of my round with it. I'm about to save it and pass the potato to, I do believe it's Jane who will be taking over next. Uh, this episode two hasn't hasn't been seen by anybody because the guy who's doing it is recording from a hotel, so he has to upload. So it takes it takes a bit for the upload to happen. So it'll be aired on my channel. Same with uh, Jane and Magnus because they record, but they have faster internet, so they'll be able to upload it. And you can find out more about our rules and requirements for what we're doing at Pixel APS HPS two rules. And mods, our mod list there. So, but yeah, I am actually just about to wrap for today because I have a three o'clock appointment to train my service dog. So, but one thing I've started doing is I'm making a point to go find a streamer that I follow, that I watch, and let them know how much I appreciate what they do. That, um, that they that what because they they spend a lot of time making content that I enjoy and I want to make sure they know that it's appreciated. So it's I'm calling it my appreciation raid. I'm going to go by myself if I have to. I have not set my raid messages. So don't click the buttons, the ra the ra the the raid and the sub raid buttons up there because I haven't set those yet because I just started doing this after hearing someone talk about something at church that really hit me of saying, hey, you know, people don't get told enough that they're appreciated for who they are without any kind of expectation attached to it. So 
Why is there a pemmican sitting there? No, I'll worry about that later. So that's what I do. So I'm going to pick someone here in a moment to go pop in and just tell them something. I have a message that I'm going to post in there, but there's a customized part for them about something that I appreciate about what they do. And if it's someone you know, or if you just want to just do a generic, hey, we appreciate the content you provide, you're welcome to join. The message is right here for now. I may tweak it a little bit, but this is the message for now. So obviously you can tweak it as you need. Uh, I haven't decided who I'm going to go today. Um, let's see who's on. Frankly, I'm not, you know, Stream Puppy allows you to see who's been on the shortest amount of time. I'm not looking for that. I'm just looking to see who's on that I haven't. You know what? I'm going, that, that's someone I haven't hosted in a while. And I, so I'm going to cast a host for Super X Invader. Uh, this is a streamer who I've been following for two years almost. She, it's... She is a great community person. She has a huge community that she that she basically has had to hand managing off to a bunch of other people because it's so big. Emu revenge. The Emu is attacking after being harmed. What the heck? Oh. Well, that didn't end well for you, Emu, did it? I kill Omega. You're building that. Wolfie, can you go get this stupid? Prioritize hauling the Emu. So that's who I'm, yeah, I, she has a great community, and I'm, that's who, and I haven't been over there in a while, so that's who I'm going to go cast the host for when I, when I wrap, and I'm going to have a message that I share just for, just for Super X. So you are welcome to join me or not, it's up to you. So, um, it's, it's 2.15, that's when I said I had to go, and... I'm actually going to use this message right here. Okay, so uh, I will save this here in a moment. So everybody, thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for chit-chatting. Uh, your time here is appreciated, and re I recognize that it's valuable to you, so I, I very much enjoy that you come here and you spend your time with me. Uh, thank you for the help earlier, Riot Maker. Always appreciate it. I will do my best to make sure that uh, we keep you alive, but I only have control of this once a week. Although technically I'll be helping Zoe, but she's making the decisions. So uh, we'll see how 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 this is the next time it's on. Uh, and I will be posting the other episodes from the other streamers on my channel as, re as premiere. So thank you, Riot Maker. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go change the scene to the talk scene. Don't. Stupid. Don't, don't, don't. All I said was, I'm going to, I'm, I'm done. I'm going, I'm going to head over to Super X's stream and hang out there for a second and, and cast, her, cast her a host and give my message, my, my appreciation message for her and what she does. So, yeah. I'm not sure what happened there. It, it does that. I have, to, I have to figure out, I have to go through, I'm going to have to calm through Streamlabs and figure out where the where the mess up is with the buttons that Stream Puppy uses in Streamlabs because it's constantly doing that. But okay, so I've got her stream up. So I will be back tomorrow. I think Chalice Mike is going to be up for, for up for it, and we'll probably go back to Endless Space too. We'll see. Uh, Saturday, I think I'm going. Not Saturday, Friday. I'm probably going to go back to Stellaris. Uh, there's a empire that I want to try to win with a pet. radical pass no pacifist radical xenophile so I tried to win these before but I don't want to, I'm going to start fresh make a new race everything so so that that'll that's most likely that I'm going to play on Friday so I will talk to you guys later thanks for joining me thanks for hanging out and I will see you later bye <laughs>